Eric Metcalf joining us now. Of course, we all know you went to the University of Texas and had a great career in the NFL. Your father, you came from great genes. Terry Metcalf played for the Cardinals, but I understand even though you grew up in Seattle, you weren't a Cardinals fan or a Seahawks fan, were you? I didn't love the St. Louis Cardinals. I love my dad, but, but I love the San Diego Chargers. I, the, the, the uniforms. The, the uniforms, I gravitated to the, towards the pretty uniforms. Everybody expected me to play football just because of my dad. You know, uh, when people thought of Metcalf, they thought Terry Metcalf uh, from, from day one. So as a, as a kid, I started playing football at seven. And day one, I wanted to be Terry Metcalf, who was in the NFL. So I wanted to be like my dad. And so I just that's all I thought about was playing football. I went down to Rainier Playfield where I was from and, and played with all my friends and even had a game where I, I scored like seven touchdowns. And so I guess from that point on, I, I felt like I was pretty good. Eric, you played for both Fred Akers and David McWilliams at the University of Texas, but they also let you run track. That was kind of a package deal, wasn't it? If I'm coming to your school, I'm, I have to run track. And I don't want to do spring ball or anything. And, and everyone agreed to it. I don't know if I, I could pull that off today but everyone agreed to it and that was that was my thing I just wanted to go out there and run track coach Akers was, was a great coach they were both great coaches I, the two different people and they, they were great in their own respect but I think when, when you talk about coach Akers and, and him being on his way out because I only played with him two years I think the fact that the matter is we didn't have the same players that he had in previous years and so when you don't have those type of players that's when you lose games I mean I come in there my freshman year and we're, we're eight and four and, and we go to a bowl game, which we don't win, but then the next year we're, we're five and six. And so I think that ultimately was a downfall, but he was a great coach and he was a player's coach. He was, he was stern with us and, 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 and made us play by the rules, both on and off the field. And whereas Coach McWilliams came in two years later and he was more of a player's guy. He was a rah-rah and has have fun kind of guy. And, and he, he was also stern, but he was more fun about it. So we, it wasn't, uh, as, as hard on us as, what, as, as Coach Akers was, and we, we felt good about that. And so we ultimately, our best season was what, seven and five with him. So it wasn't, it wasn't the same type of teams that, that Texas had been used to at those times. Eric, you were 1986 and 87 Southwest Conference long jump champion, also jumped 27, eight and a quarter inches at the University of Texas, which was an outdoor record. Thoughts about coming in and kind of taking the bull by the horns, if you will, the Longhorns, and showing them what track and field's all about. I've done pretty well in, in, in high school as far as long jumping, so I thought with, with good coaching and, and, and having that opportunity that I could jump far and possibly do some things, and it, and it worked out. At Texas, it, it was great because we had, we had good teams. We had good athletes, we had good teams. I, I believe we were third my freshman year in NCAA, second my sophomore year, and and second my, my junior year. So we were we were good and, and competitive. So that's what that's what made it fun, just knowing that we could go to the meets and, and, and have fun and compete and and win some national championships as, as individuals. I joke with my friends all the time who, who long jumped against me and, and went through track their entire lives, even into uh, professionally. And I, I tell them I, I did them a favor by being a football player. Because I, because I, I let them off the hook. That was a hobby for me. Because even jumping 27, eight, I was, I was only 20 when I did that, and then I quit. I never jumped again after my my junior year, because I knew I wanted to play football, which I had dreamed about all my life. You're second in punt return yards at 1,076 yards. I know you're not big on numbers, but thoughts about being a special teams player that could just kind of do it all. Oh yeah, I mean you know. Just being a returner in general, when I, when I think about being a returner, I know that you have the opportunity to go out there and shift momentum one way or the other. Because when they're kicking off to you, it's either the start of a game or the other team just scored. And when they're punting, your defense just stopped them. So when they kick that ball to you, now you can just change the game. And that's what I loved about being back there, that at any moment we could score. Uh, and also being a three-time All-Pro, pretty exciting, uh, 93, 94, 97. It's, it's a great feeling, and I think, you know, just going into the NFL, that that, that was my ultimate goal. I, I wanted to be in the, in the NFL, but once you get there, you, you, you want to be one of the best, and I, and I felt good about my career and what I did because people don't really know this, but when I, when I think about my career, 
I stack it up to my dad. I don't think about anyone else. I think about my dad because that's who I always wanted to be. So if I go out there and I have more touchdowns or, or more yards, then I feel good about myself because as a kid, I wanted to be Terry Metcalf. So what does it mean for you to be inducted in the Texas Sports Hall of Fame here in Waco? Oh, there really aren't any words that can describe it because I'm, you, you think about all the athletes who've come through Texas, who've been born and raised in Texas and played sports here, and, and, and there's what, close to 400 people in the Texas Sports Hall of Fame, and now I'll be one of those guys in, in all the years and all the athletes that have come through here. You can't describe that. I just get to say that now I'm, I'm really considered one of the best in that state.